Power on. Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Earth 2147. The legacy of the Metal Wars. When man fought machine and machines won. Biodreads. Monstrous creations that hunt down human survivors and digitize them. Volcania. Center of the Biodread Empire. Stronghold and fortress of Lord Dread. Feared ruler of this new order. But from the fires of the Metal Wars arose a new breed of warrior. Born and trained to bring down Lord Dread and his Biodread Empire. They were soldiers of the future. Mankind's last hope. Their leader, Captain Jonathan Powell. Master of the incredible power suits which transform each soldier into a one-man attack force. Major Matthew Hawk Masterson, fighter in the sky. Lieutenant Michael Tank Ellis, ground assault unit. Sergeant Robert Scout Baker, espionage and communications. And Corporal Jennifer, pilot chase, tactical systems expert. Together they form the most powerful fighting force in Earth's history. Their creed to protect all life. Their promise to end Lord Dredd's rule. Their name, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. Database Journal 478 Mark IV. We've come to Tech City, the last bastion of technology, in hopes of acquiring information on Dredd's Project New Order. There's danger here in being recognized, but we've done what we can to minimize it. I can see what I call a flame street. How come Dredd hasn't stomped this place flat? Visit be the neon light shall guide us. Visit be the neon its light shall guide us. Dread needs the interface with the city's data banks. He needs people to operate them. It's kind of a rogues alliance. Hey, looking to get a little wired, Norm? Zone boy for me. And I got exactly what you need. A little uh, brain crystal, hmm? some uh, skin tabs, snap caps. We're looking for someone named Mindsinger. Mindsinger, huh? <laughs> Runs uh, heavy, heavy chips. Uh, not exactly uh, cheap. <laughs> you pros? We're willing to pay. Well, well. You got a, you got a trip. Uh, Mindsinger's got a chip. <laughs> Follow me. This place makes my skin crawl. Yeah, but it's the only place we can get access to the web. Let me guess. Not from around here, are you? Where's Mind Singer? Cool your jets. <sighs> She'll be here in a nano. She? I can do for you, boys. You have something to report? Captain Power and his toes are here. Lipping with Mind Singer. They must be looking for a way into the cyberweb. Very well. Hey, hey, slow mo, man. What about my charge? Human waste. 
Blasta? Yes, my lord. Take a contingent of troopers into Tech City. Power and his soldiers are there. As you command. Overmind. I am here, Dread. Can you interface with the cyberweb in Tech City? Easily. Excellent. Hey, 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 wait, wait! I have another task for you, Organic. Fulfill it, and you will have all the neurocharge you desire. Playing the game, Carter. I'm yours. Yeah, we've had a few of Dredd's troopers jack in, run an ex-program or two. Lots better than the Hollows, you prize. I mean, it's more than a fantasy. While the plug's in, it's real. I hear you've pulled some information out of their minds while they were off in fantasy lands. Dipping's illegal, Carter. Of course, there's always some data spillover. That's what I want. Access to the web and the information you've stolen. 200 stads a minute starting at Logon. You got it. You jack in alone. Know how to handle yourself in the web? I can learn. Maybe. Stay away from the main frames. They've got protection programs. You'll wind up with cinders in your skull. I'll set it up. John, this is crazy. You know what could happen to you in there? Hawk, time's not on our side. We need any data we can get. We've got a chance at... the web, right? Consensual stimulation grid, direct mental access to data. All you gotta do is think of what you want and you'll be drawn to it. Jacking you in. Now. Everybody power up. Power up. Tank, take the point. Scout, give me a reading on the scope. I make it one biodrid. Maybe five troopers. Right. Unplug them. We got a situation here. No can do, Carter. Jack them out mid run and we'll flatline them. Zero EEG. Scan me. Great. Okay, standard defense procedures. Hit and run. Mind the civilians. Let's keep him busy till the captain gets out of the web. Right. Jack him out the second he's finished his run. Copy? How's it look? Not good. The place is surrounded. We can't hold out forever. interfaced with the cyber web put me in and lock onto his mind matrix it is done i'd swear there was somebody in there with him there is lady brain Carter's about to have a little dance with Mr. Dread. And I'm here to see that nobody stops the music. I've got it. Yes. What a pity you won't be able to use it. Ah! 
Welcome to your nightmare, Captain. It's impossible. You can't feel pain here. It's a mental projection. True enough, Captain. But I've had Overmind enhance the radiopathic link between your real body and your simulacrum. If you die in here, psychosomatic shock will kill your body as well. And you will die in here, Captain. I'll see to that. <clears throat> Let's see if it works both ways, Dread. <laughs> you still don't understand, do you, Captain? Here in the web, everything, even your weapon, is a manifestation of thought. Your flawed respect for life is your undoing. You cannot will your blaster to destroy me. But I feel no such reluctance. Captain! How does it feel to be running out of life? That's right, Captain. Run. But it will do you no good if a thought travels instantaneously. There is no place you can go where I can't find you. <laughs> Last star's holding back, playing a waiting game. How does he blow the place up? Let's not give him any ideas. Distraction. Second line of fire. Draw him off and delay him till the captain's out. Got it. Cover me. Flatline him. Maximum checkout. That's the idea. I keep him in the web. Fred has his fun. And I get the juice. Scan me. Dread promised. Lifetime ticket to Nirvana. <laughs> no brain. No pain. Come, come, Captain. You're not just going to roll over and die. You can kill me, Dread, but you'll never break me. I can make you doubt your very sanity. Overmind is linked to your mental matrix, Captain. He transmits data to me via the cyber web. So, this is the infamous power base. Where are we? You'll never find out. How do you know I haven't? I may have already drained your mind and filled it with false memories. Perhaps you are even now a prisoner in Volcania. <laughs> none, none of this is real. Reality means nothing now, Captain. For all you know, I've already destroyed your power base and your friends. <laughs> Your pitiful resistance is over, Captain. 
You are unable to save your friends, just as you are unable to save your father. No. No! No. You can't. Overmind. His will is too strong, Dread. He has broken the mind link. Finish him. As you tried to finish me, Lyman, I'm a dream. See, I live on in my son. And you can't kill a dream. Can you, Lyman? Now, go on. Try. It was your own fault. You wouldn't listen. You never listen! Impossible. Didn't you say anything was possible in here? Was it me doing it, Dread? Or was it your own conscience? Come on, face it. Face me. Syntho amps, harmonic distorters. I think I can rig it and produce a local EMP. Yeah, what'll that do? It's gonna cut off all the electronics in the area. That means our suits too, and it's gonna dampen the cyberweb link if it's not shielded. All right, try and buy us some time. Let's go kick some steel. Got him. Let's check on the captain. Tank, come on. Let's move it. Scan, Carter. You should be brain dead. It was dread. He was in the web. It's okay, John. 
It's okay. It didn't happen. Yeah. It's okay. I got what we needed. Good work, Captain. Now let's go home. Hey, I run happy endings as well as the next, but where's my money? <laughs> Hold on. 